Matt here with Macon Industries. We're in the shop with our SD300. This machine comes in two different configurations. Uh, the first one is the side discharge sluice run, like you see here. Uh, this option can come with a tailings conveyor or without a tailings conveyor. The second option is to run dual sluice runs, one on either side of the machines, like you see in a lot of our bigger units. Uh, with that setup, the tailings uh, conveyor is an uh, option that you, you need to go with to remove those coarse tailings away from the plant. This, this setup is um, on skids. It has a three by eight foot shaker deck. It's the double deck, so there's a polyurethane um, screen media on the lower deck and a, and a steel punch plate uh, media on the top deck. On this unit, we can run the water in on either side of the machine, depending on which positioning your pump is, which position your pump is set up. Um, on, on this setup, uh, we have this end capped and the water inlet is on the opposite side of the machine. There is also a bypass line over here where you can buy, leave your pump running and bypass that water if you want to turn the water off to the plant itself. The hopper is a pre-wash hopper setup, so there's water delivered on either side of the hopper through these hoses that go up to a spray bar at the very back. There is also a spray bar in the, at the top of the shaker deck here that points back towards the hopper and pre-wets the material before it hits the shaker deck. This unit has leveling cylinders on all four corners. They're manual and it has a self-cleaning water filter under here that filters the water that runs through and feeds the hydraulic riffle system. Moving down to the distribution setup here, we have on the side discharge run, we have a distributor that comes out and fans out onto the hydraulic riffle section. Uh, we also have a boil box here or a nugget trap, hydraulic riffles, and then we have a slick plate and then some secondary expanded riffles. The primary sluice run is underneath the machine. Uh, this hinges up tight to the bottom of the shaker deck and the material as its screen flows through the screen down into the primary run and across these riffles and then out our distributor. The typically our primary sluice run will capture 60-70% of the gold and then the remaining is recovered in our secondary run. Um, here we have the primary sluice run on the SD300. This run is held up by these, uh, this chain fall up close to the bottom of uh, the shaker deck here. The, there's some safety chains up here that clip onto it while it's in the up position. The material from the hopper runs onto the screen deck and then is screened through the double deck down onto the primary sluice. This is... Uh, has, high, has riffles in the bottom of it. This one has some angle iron riffles, also has some expanded riffles, and then 3M matting underneath. So once, once you're ready to clean up this uh, primary run, you lower the, um, the run down to the bottom here using the chain fall, and then you're able to hook the chain fall onto the riffles, raise the riffles up, and clean your matting right in the bottom of this sluice run. Um, you're able to pull this cap off here and have a bin underneath and wash all your concentrate into the bin. On this SD300, um, we, we power this machine with a 30 kilowatt generator. Uh, we have a electrical cabinet here that is a NEMA 4 rated panel, so it can be washed and it's waterproof. Um, and we have our stop and start buttons right on the panel uh, for the conveyor stop and start, uh, for, for the screen deck, and then we also have an emergency uh, stop button. Um, while we're here, we have a, a 15 horsepower electric motor that drives this deck. Um, it is a, it's a, on a Rasta motor mount that has flexibility in it for, for the belts, uh, for our, our uh, concentric shaft. 
On the SD300, we have a six inch inlet for our water coming into the plant. Uh, we have a butterfly valve here that is for the bypass line to bypass the water from the pump out the side of the machine and that turns the water off to the, to the machine itself. We also have a, a butterfly valve to shut the water off completely to the machine here. So we're able to shut this off and also open this small valve here to be able to run a cleanup hose for doing your cleaning your primary sluice run or your secondary runs. The water then flows through this self-cleaning water filter underneath and that filtered water is supplied to the hydraulic riffles on the, on the machine in the secondary sluice run. On the screen deck on the SD300, we have the top deck is a steel hardened punch plate screen, usually an inch and a half in diameter. And the bottom deck is a 40 millimeter thick polyurethane panel. On the top, above the top deck, we have some spray bars with uh, brass nozzles in them for high pressure wash on the top deck. That helps with the clay, breaks down the material that's on the rocks coming over this top deck. And those bars, you were able to rotate them and adjust them against the flow of the material and that retains the material longer on the deck. It allows for a better wash and, uh, and scrubs the material really well. The conveyor on the SD300 is a 20 foot long conveyor. It has a 24 inch wide conveyor belt that's quite heavy. It has a, a large impact bed underneath where the large rocks tumble onto the conveyor. And it has fairly heavy rollers as we go up the conveyor. And then at the very top, we have the drive uh, motor. It's an electric drive motor with a gear reducer um, directly mounted on the shaft driving that head pulley. Um, all the parts on this are, are top quality and built to the same standards as our larger machines. So on the SD300 we have the primary run underneath the shaker deck that recovers the majority of your of your gold in that run. The material then, the slurry then flows out through this distribution system which flares the material out and it, and it runs over top of a boil box where nuggets will get trapped and then it comes up over these hydraulic riffles. Hydraulic riffles have the water injected into the, the bottom of the bed keeping everything fluidized in, in there and, keep, and letting your gold settle down towards the bottom. The slurry then goes across uh, this slick plate and onto some expanded riffles here uh, with 3M matting underneath them. All these riffles are, are easy to remove. The hydraulic riffle uh, has this rod bumped out and it, it pivots up and it's very easy to clean it out. And on the secondary riffles, we knock the wood blocks out and uh, lift the expanded grating out and clean up that way. Down at the very bottom, we have an aluminum tray. This is in the up position when the machine's running. And when you're ready to do a clean out, uh, you put your clean up bin underneath. There's an opening on the end of this uh, tray and you rotate this down. It seals against the bottom of the sluice run and you can wash all of your concentrate down through this port into your clean up bin, uh, bin. The SD300 is our most compact machine that we build. It is built to the exact same standards as our larger machines. Uh, it's very tough, very robust, and designed for some heavy throughput. Uh, we have lots of larger machines as well on our website. If you can come and visit that at uh, www.makeonindustries.com. And uh, there's also a contact page on there if you want to reach out and connect with us. Thanks a lot.